Garvey was now a person who had come down in the world and Garvey would be followed by children on the street and they would heckle him and Garvey felt very humiliated by this. Garvey relocated to London in 1935. For a time, he had regular speaking engagements and managed to publish a newspaper. A handful of UNIA members, including Jacob Mills, migrated to Liberia on their own. But without Garvey's strong hand, his hundreds of thousands of followers in the United States dwindled to a small band of the faithful. The men folk, if they had your names and everything, and you are a member of the UNIA, you'd lose your job. So you had to meet in disguise. That was one of the reasons why the Garvey movement was so thorough in being broke up. You couldn't say, I don't know, you are a UNIA member. I was Marcus Garvey. You whispered it. You could not speak his name. Garvey was alone in London. The asthma and heart disease that had plagued him in prison began to worsen. Garvey had a stroke in January of 1940, and he becomes incapacitated. George Padmore, who was a columnist for the Chicago Defender, had heard a rumor that Garvey had died, and instead of confirming this, he published a premature obituary. The obituary described Garvey as a man whose followers had deserted him, a man who died broke, alone, and unpopular. When Garvey reads it, he lets out a loud moan, and he collapses. He suffers a second stroke. And next morning, he dies. The date was June 10th, 1940. Marcus Garvey died a forgotten man. But his vision of Africa would influence future generations of what he called the beloved and scattered millions of the Negro race. When Garvey's passionate ideas about black pride and independence finally took hold, he would be revered by many as a prophet and a saint. In death, I shall be a terror to the foes of Negro liberty. Look for me in the whirlwind or the song of the storm. Look for me all around you. In his 53 years, Marcus Garvey never set foot in Africa. I dreamed a dream that he came and I saw him. And he said to me, Barnes, do not be worried. For everything is working according to plan. I am not dead. I am only sleeping. The organization left the legacy of I am. Simply, I am. With no apology. I am. We had never had that up to that time. We belonged to churches where we sang and but Garvey made you stand tall and quiet, looking into the future. And that's a great legacy. <laughs>